previously. Whoa, what the fuck? And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Winter Knight, and welcome back to Corpse Party. We are going to be continuing on with one of the extra scenes. Um, a meeting of the minds. So, let's do it. So, I finally finished chapter three. Or is it four? One of the two. I don't know. Marishigi. Okay. Damn. Damn. Why are you running, little Yuka? Could it be you caught me while I was snapping photos? Uh, probably. <laughs> Looks like the chase is afoot. I know she went this way. Might she be in here perchance? No. Yuka's here. Yuka? This room doesn't exactly limit itself to hiding in its current state, I suppose. Hmm. So this way, ah! Dude, uh, are you all right? Sorry about that. Uh, n no worries. Someone from another school. I'm totally fine. I should apologize as well. I wasn't looking where I was going. I see you're from a different school. My name is Kazami. I'm a student at Byakudan Hi Senior High. Sakutaro Mo Morishigi from Kisaragi Academy. I'm grateful for the chance to meet another living being. Hope your phone wasn't broken in the fall. Let's have a look. Hmm? Th that's quite all right. I'll have a look myself. Give it here. Damn, the photo view are open and everything. Did you see the corpse shot? She did, and there's no way he'll want anything to do with me anymore. Don't just look at other people's phones without permission, goddammit. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, you're responsible for that? Or what? Come again? I had a feeling we might be cut from the same cloth. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I'd appreciate it if you just leave me be, please. <laughs> Let's meet again sometime, eh? Sometime real soon. That was it. I guess it was. All right. Well, I'm not going to upload a three minute video, so I guess let's do some in chapter four. I know there's achievement for all the endings, but I want to get all the endings. I want to get the good endings. View the chapter four opening? Yes. <laughs> Come out, you. I'll wash your back. I'll wash it myself, you know. Put you hiding under your hands there, little man. There's no secrets in this bathroom. C come on, don't. Waha, take this and this and this. Hello. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Give me your little cutie pie. Hey, I hope you don't mind, but I'm recording. Jeez, why do you have to be like that? 
You know, sis. Hmm? Sometimes you really are like a mom. You really think so? <laughs> you're, you're such a sweetie. I didn't mean it like that. You've really grown up, you. Always thinking about your big sister's feelings. But you're still young, you know? Too young to act like such a grown-up. You should stop worrying about me and just keep on being a kid. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're crying. See, you really are still a kid. Want some of Mama's milk? It's not even possible. Don't be a purr. You, you're such a good kid. Don't ever change, okay? I hope you stay like this forever. <laughs> Sis is really late getting home today. And she said Dad had a surprise for us, too. Said she'd help me get ready for it. I wonder how much longer she'll be. Ah. Man, are we having a typhoon or something? Such weird weather. Uh oh. That wasn't good. But I still love her with all my heart. What is it, Mom? I'm running late. This is your last day at Kisaragi. Make sure you say goodbyes and have a lot of fun with your friends, okay? I will. I'm so sorry about all this. Bec all because your father got transferred. It's okay. I'll be fine. I wish your father would have objected more strongly. But he said there was nothing he could do about it. But since he didn't object either, I swear, that man doesn't give this family any consideration. All he thinks about is work. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got to run. Bye. Bye. I just want my mom and dad to get along. Hey, hey. Uh, huh? Where am I? Why am I by myself? And why am I crying? She, bro, you there? Is Yue Shinazaki? I was just in the classroom with everybody taking down the festival decorations. God, where even is this? Where? What? No, 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 please. No, 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 no. <sighs> Stop it. Stop it, Mayu. Don't succumb to panic. Take a deep breath and try to think of a charm or something to get you through this. <sighs> That's it. Shinazaki's charm. The one we all did. So we'd be friends forever. Wait. It's gone. It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. My Suchiko ever after paper scrap. Gone. Is it because I didn't put it away before the earthquake? I couldn't bear to, but I had it in my hand. I know I did. This sucks. What happened after that? My stomach 
is in bad shape too. Why does stress always give me indigestion? <laughs> what were they? They went into that room. Maybe I should have a look? Ugh. Oof, my head. Where am I? I'm in the main building. Wake from a bad dream and find myself in another. Damn it! Oh. Okay. I guess I'm going here. Good lord, this place is a mess. Forward your progress? Yes. There we go. Uh, old fashioned space heater, full of ash, it'll probably never light again. Blood spotter notebook on the desk with door diary written in bold letters at the top. It can't be opened. Shelves lined with various medicine. Mm -hmm. Let's all wash our hands and remember our mommies and daddies. Remember them cry, them and cry because we can't go home anymore. Wait, pair of scissors on the shelf. Vast quantities of medicine. Okay. Wait, what was that? Is that just a wall? Okay. It looked like some sort of weird door. Okay. Well. Oh, God. Someone seems to have vomited. What? I lost control of their bowels here. Ugh. Big brother! You can. Spelled all remains. I got a name tag. Okay. What? What the hell? All right. Well, I can't go that way. Is that damn kid still here? No. I can't. What happened? Mom, me. I'm going to kill you. Are you? Hmm. Well, hello. Door is locked. There's an erratic note, like noise. The television, isn't it? I did find that video cassette near the building. So Toshi removes the tape from his bag and rereads the label. Kabiki research data 2005 11 19. Might hold some important information. If only we had some way of watching it. Fingers crossed, I guess. Hey. Kill. Curse. Hurt. Sister. Hate. Okay. Um, what's this say? Can't see it. Okay. Hey, there's a thingy there. Is it gonna switch to the other side again? I bet it is. Yep. The light jumping back and forth like that, I'll never get the object by myself. Someone else will have to lend me a hand. Okay. Well. Um. The yellow sheet of notebook paper on the floor next to the body. The shakiness of the lettering and the contents of the memorat memorandum suggest that its writer was on the verge of death as well, uh, well before pen touch paper. Ah. Cat. I need water so badly. I'm hungry, sure. I can deal with the hunger, but it's the thirst I can't stand. The other guy I was with, Satoshi Matsubara. He tried drinking that filthy tap water from the sink in the bathroom, but he threw it all up almost immediately, and it burned his chest and throat so badly he wound up dying. I tried to think outside the box, even going so far as to drink my own spit, but needless to say, it didn't help matters one bit. My tongue's so swollen at this point, I can't even talk. 
Ironically, it's been pouring outside since we got here. If only we can find a way to gather some of that rainwater, Satoshi might still be alive. It's almost as if someone's playing a cold joke on me, showing more me more water than I've ever seen before, but putting it just outside my reach. Somebody wrote that there's a whole other wing at the school associated access to an outdoor walkway, but I had never found it. As a last resort, I'm going to try drinking my own blood. My name's Hiramasa Kojimi. I'm an 11th grader in class 2 for it. Uh, I'm a Zaki West High. If anyone reading this ever makes it out of here alive, please tell my family, tell my father what happened to me. I don't want to be a missing person for the rest of his life. I hate the idea of him always wondering where I went or if I'm even still alive. It seems to continue, but the rest of it is just completely drenched in blood, rendering it totally illegible. The body of a high schooler, whoever it is, seems to have only just died mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. That was sad. I can't go down there, so I guess I go this way. Hmm. I've already been in here. What? Yeah, let's go ahead and save again. It's been a couple minutes, might as well. Meow. <sighs> Smell of exposed organs permeates the entire hallway. Really? Here's a someone or something is holding a shelf on the other side. Machida, this way. Oh. Please, take care of Naomi. She's on the verge of snapping. Who's there? Who's speaking to me? That's what it sounded like. But let's say it go. Naomi. Hey, are you alright? Oh shit. Naomi. Huh? The phone? Isn't that Naomi's cell phone? Uh, answer the phone? Hell no. Naomi. Well, it was tough, you know. <laughs> I certainly was surprised. Mm -hmm. So Seiko, did you hear? What is it? What is it? Kish Kishinuma bumped into Satoshi around, turning around earlier and totally touched his crotch. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I like it. I like it. When I saw it happen, though, I wanted to smack Kishinuma upside the head. <laughs> oh dear, Naomi. Do I detect a hint of jealousy? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's priceless. I wish I could have seen it. I don't think you'd ever been so keen on it if you were there. It wasn't a pretty sight. I don't know. I have a feeling I would have enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> Boys are such idiots. Cute, though. Well, she did in particular, right, Naomi? Is someone there? Let me in. What? what? Uh, uh. Naomi. Dumbass, what the hell are you doing? What do I do? Uh, try and hold her up. Um... Chirping against the wall. Not working. Uh, hold her up. Uh, hoist her up on shoulders. Hold on. Good, she's breathing. Naomi, stay with me. I'm going to loosen that rope. Oh my 
can't see what I'm doing. Is this it? I'm supporting Naomi on his shoulders with his upper body strength drooping between the back wall of the bathroom and his head. So she reached behind him and fiddled with the knots at the base of the noose. Somehow or another, he managed to loosen the rope's grip. Against all odds, it seems that Naomi would live. Thought I was going to kill Naomi. Naomi, hey, you're all right now. Breathe. That's it. Easy now. Just like that. Breathe in and breathe out. Slow and steady. S Satoshi? I yeah, it's me. Are you alright? You really have me scared there for a minute. W what? What's wrong? Are you in pain? Dumbass. Get here sooner next time. Uh, what? S sorry. What's wrong with me? What am I doing? There's no need, huh? No need to apologize. Um, is... Is your neck okay? My neck? What was I doing anyway? I fell down the stairs and then... When I came to, you were here. You don't remember anything? I guess not. After I fell, I heard a snap in my leg and I figured I'd broken it. But it turned out it was just a splint that Seiko used on my sprained ankle earlier. Shinohara? I think I heard her voice just a minute, a moment ago. Any idea where she went? Seiko? Seiko is... Hmm? That's impossible. I heard her voice. She spoke to me just a few minutes ago. Seiko. Seiko. Let's get her down. I'd feel bad leaving her here like that. We had a fight just before we parted ways. I was the one in the wrong, but I was too stubborn to admit it. And the next time I saw her, Seiko was... Already dead. It was because of me. She did it over me because I said such horrible things to her. She, she, and I can't even apologize anymore. <laughs> Naomi, it's all right. It's not your fault. You do realize that you also tried to hang yourself, right? I, I did. That's not possible. But there is a stinging pain around my entire neck. Did I really? So you don't remember. I'm sure it was the same for Shinohara. I don't think she knew what she was doing. No matter how upset she was, she would never. She wasn't the type to give up on anything, much less killed herself over it. You, you're right. She wouldn't do this. Probably not anyway. Actually, there was the spirit who came to talk to me. Uh girl about the same age as us she said that anyone who's been touched by the curse of the school will have their mind taken over and go crazy their mind taken over curse or no curse I get the feeling that anyone trapped in here for long enough would go insane clearly we need to get out of the school as soon as we possibly can the longer we're here the more danger we're in if even Naomi and Shinohara two of the strongest people I know can wind up like this then any one of us could be next, myself included. We better make sure nobody's left by themselves in here anymore. It sounds like we need to hurry up and find the others, then get out of here. Yeah, that brings up something else, though. That girl spirit also said that the school is its own version of its close, of its closed base. And that Seiko and I were the only living beings present. So, how did you get here, Satoshi? Now that you mention it, there's a different feeling in the air now than there was before. Such concern for your friends, all the impulses that go with it, spurring the heart into action. It's a truly noble sentiment. Nago, go to the one who occupies your thoughts. 
so you probably won't make it in time. <laughs> Come to think of it, I was also approached by a spirit of a high school girl. Shortly afterward, I lost consciousness and woke up not far from here. I wonder who she was. I'm not sure, but it sounds like somehow you made the leap from one closed space to another. Closed space. The first girl we saw all said that if two people were in different spaces, it would be nearly impossible for them to meet. What about Yuka? Uh, huh? It's it's nothing. Uh, Satoshi. I think I heard Yuka's voice on the second floor earlier. You did? The two of us got separated when I lost consciousness. She can't be by herself in a place like this. She'll never make it. Last I saw her, she was heading onto the walkway between the two wings. Come on, Naomi. This way. Uh, okay. Who am I controlling? That's the question. Shinohara, I'm sorry. I wish I could take you with us, but it doesn't seem like that's possible anymore. Please forgive me. <laughs> Seiko. Are you okay? <laughs> the damage to her neck and throat may have been worse than I assumed. It might have cut off oxygen to her brain or something. Sorry, I suddenly got really dizzy and tripped over my own feet. And now everything's turning white. Naomi, looks like she's lost consciousness. I need to take her somewhere to rest. Wasn't there a nurse's office or something around here? Her breathing seems normal. I guess she's okay. <sighs> I need to go find Yuka. Naomi, you stay here and rest up. I know it's dangerous for either of us to be by ourselves. But that goes for my little sister, too. I can't just ignore her. I'll be back real soon, I swear. Don't leave her in here. Uh, save. Alright, hold on. Let me see if I can talk to her real quick. Nope. Okay. I'm actually going to leave that episode there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Internet setting out.